Nate, what's the key? What's the key to, to being a great little man? I think it's dedication. You have to love the game of basketball. You have to go out in the hot sun and play for hours upon hours a day. And you just have to try to be uh, better than probably everybody on your teammate because you're so small. There will always be a place for the little man in basketball if he learns the uh, basic fundamentals of how to dribble, how to shoot, and especially how to pass the ball to his other teammates. I think he'll be an inspiration and probably a most valuable player to his teammates. The game of basketball involves scoring, rebounding, and many other physical attributes, but the men who make it all happen are the little men, the passers and the ball handlers. As players watch stars like Nate Archibald, they often believe the secret lies in body balance, the ability to pass, or in being blessed with great vision. Those are factors, but the most important fundamental of passing is a simple one, the use of the eyes. Here the passer has handicapped himself. He can't see his teammates because his eyes are looking at the wrong spot on the court. As Archibald looks directly across the floor, his eyes miss the important action. He can't see the cutter. His line of vision includes the empty backcourt, but it doesn't include his teammate cutting, and so the pass is late, and the cutter has a bad shot. You may not think this is important, but in reality, it's the most important fundamental of passing, and you can learn it. Now let's take a look at how it should be done. Whenever you have the ball, always keep your eyes toward the basket, not toward the sidelines where nothing happens. Vision is the secret. Without it, the greatest passer would fail. You'll see how the entire court becomes Archibald's target. Any teammate can cut, and Nate will see him. Ideally, keep your eyes on an imaginary spot just below the net. Now you can see everyone. If the forwards and the guards will follow this simple rule, you'll never miss a cutter. See what happens with a simple turn of the head? Archibald sees his teammate and passes to him immediately for an easy layup. It's all in the eyes. This is what your eyes should see. All the action. In the heat of a game, a player doesn't have time to think. He reacts, and he must do it in split seconds. He must see the action develop. If your eyes do the job right, you'll see everything. With the eyes in the proper position, you'll see every man on the floor. You'll never be surprised. Your teammates will do more cutting simply because they know you'll get them the ball. We'll discuss some of the different types of passes and other fundamentals, but the most important fundamental is Always keep your eyes just below the basket. Notice the position of Nate Archibald's head and eyes. It pays off as he scores. A beautiful example of seeing the cutter. The next basic fundamental of passing is an obvious one. Put the ball where your teammate can handle it. Nate Archibald demonstrates what happens when you bounce the ball near a teammate's feet. With practice, you can avoid this glaring error. On bounce passes, always try to have the ball come off the floor in such a way that it will come to your teammate's waist, far enough ahead of him so that he must slightly extend himself and thus continue toward the basket. The rules for this pass are simple. If you pass from a high angle, the ball should hit the floor closer to the cutter. If you pass from a low angle, it should hit the floor at a greater distance from the cutter so it has time to get up to the waist. Watch Pete Maravich as he hits his teammate perfectly. Even from a difficult angle, the pass is easy to handle. One of the most important fundamentals of passing is don't try to be fancy unless it's absolutely necessary. You're not a good passer unless your teammates can handle your passes. Nate Archibald illustrates 
that this pass just isn't necessary. This may seem obvious, but many players don't realize the easiest pass is usually the best. Here Archibald merely waits until his teammate is open and hits him with a simple overhead pass. Nate Archibald is one of the game's greatest passers, but he always does it the simple way if he can. Watch it again. Keep the pass away from the defense and hit your teammate where he can easily handle the ball. The next fundamental is also simple. Don't throw the ball into a crowd. Your opponents will get points from your mistakes if you're foolish enough to give them opportunities. Jojo White illustrates this point as he capitalizes on his opponent's foolish pass. If the pivot area is crowded, pass to a teammate and make the defense adjust. Now the pivot area is open. You'll notice the sagging forward must adjust and cover his man when Archibald moves the ball to the corner. Now the pivot is open and Nate finds his target easily. These game situations illustrate the basic idea of passing. Namely, find the open man and hit him. You don't have to be fancy. You don't have to force the ball through the defense. Just have your eyes open and pass the ball to the open man. Nate, I noticed you wear pro cat shoes. When did you start wearing them? Ed, ever since I was a youngster, I've worn pro cat shoes, especially on the playgrounds where it's rugged on your feet and on your sneakers. I think pro cat shoes are durable and uh, makes your feet feel good and, and outlasts most of the other sneakers. Uh, those feet, they're really important to you, aren't they? Yes, they are, Ed. Okay, Nate, let's go back to work. Okay. Another basic principle of passing is always pass the ball crisply. Don't lob the ball in situations where the defense can get to it. Nate Archibald throws a lazy pass. He doesn't get away with it. This doesn't mean you should be intimidated by the defense. If judgment indicates you can get the pass to your teammate, make the pass, but pass the ball with enough authority to get it to its destination. With a good, crisp pass, Archibald gives his teammate an opportunity to score. In competition, you must anticipate the quick defenseman. It's the passer's responsibility to determine if the defenseman can get to the ball. The receiver should give a good target, and he should fight to get to the ball, but basically, the passer must make the initial decision. Are all difficult passes unnecessary? Well, not anymore. The pressure defenses have made it mandatory that a good passer have control of a number of passes, even those behind the back when necessary. In these illustrations, Nate Archibald could not hit his teammate with a one-handed pass because of the aggressive defense, but he still finds an opening. In these sequences, you'll see a number of outstanding passes, none of which are of the conventional two-handed chest pass variety. Here, Nate Archibald goes behind his head. Pete Maravich uses this same pass to good advantage. The passes you'll see now are sensational passes, to say the least. Are these necessary passes? Well, for the player who has practiced them, they're not only necessary, but they certainly are effective. However, to throw these passes without the proper training would be ridiculous. Therein lies the key. Only throw passes over which you have absolute mastery. You can practice and perfect these passes, but do it under the supervision of your coach. Most importantly, don't use these passes just to showboat. First, practice them and perfect them. Then use them only as a last resort and after you've practiced them with your teammates. 
You'll notice body balance is essential. Nate Archibald has complete control of his body. He doesn't get caught in the air with no one open. Know your limitations, but constantly strive to raise your efficiency level. Nate Archibald has the reputation of being one of the game's finest passers. His passing serves as an incentive to his teammates. They too look for and find the open man. However, during this sequence of passes, notice one outstanding fact. The passes these pros are using are not fancy. They're not sensational. The passes are just basic, simple passes which are designed for only one result to give a teammate an open shot. These passes don't confuse your teammate, they're not difficult to control, and they are the best percentage passes to use. Even Nate Archibald, one of the greatest, heartily agrees with that. And finally, do you need professional players to help develop your skills? No, you just need a ball, a wall, and the desire to improve. To perfect the pass requires practice, just as shooting and the other aspects of the game also require practice. Yes, there's a place for the little man, and one of the best is Nate Archibald, who at six feet led the NBA in scoring and assists. There's no secret, it's just plain hard work.